and shingle leaf in a year and a four. Tear to mother. Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Barret's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap, not yet sprung. Barreth believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barreth's suspicions? Owen is the Abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a... friend. You mean a pagan. Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did, but King Flawn is not convinced. You must pull out a clawhorn now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barth McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barth. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen! What's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. They're under attack! Come on! I should be cautious around here. I'll take more heads than you, cousin! Do not wager on it! <laughs> If we hold off this assault, we will save the day! We'll finish you! Back here. Until then, cousin. Oh, <laughs> 
Work with me! They retreat! You've saved us! We held them off. At a great cost. Eivor, where is Boris? Boris! Can you hear me? Boris McKeever! Survey the area soon and see. Have you seen King Boris? Aye. He was headed towards the farm on the edge of the village. A cold hand. That grips my heart. Boris! <coughs> Boris. Eivor. I'm here. A glorious end, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Not even you, cousin. <coughs> You had your doubts. Good thing I was too stupid to give up. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barret. I'll see to it. <coughs> Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Siegfried is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place, it can be a legacy. Flan must back him, have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. will be done. The hero's funeral. Aerith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. <laughs> but fair. He saw more clearly than I, and I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north, what of Siegfried? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics. Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfrith isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterward... The fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Siegfried's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes. 
then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... Hmm. Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Sigfrith. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Hann heyrir um því.
Cast about this land, my friend.
Thor himself could not drink me. Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me, you are a winner. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. All in. Skull. Man your horn. Yes. Too strong for you.
Guards here are vigilant. Kenneth Jora, call Jack with you.
May you speed on to the All Father's Feast.
Too much death. Stop, Dringer. Have you lost your wits? Why berate a man long dead? This soldier promised deadly peace. He claimed he'd bested foe after foe, each left more dent than the last. He is dead himself. You cannot kill him better. I sailed with the mighty Thorigest. I deserve my place in the Great Hall. An honorable death is all I ask. Could you, stranger, could you give me a just fight, and at long last release me from this cursed life? You have suffered mightily. You deserve a seat next to Odin. Let it be so. Come, one of us will find the great hall. Others, you do not fight like a dolt. I begin to weaken, stranger. It is now that I am most dangerous. I shall not die easily. Well done, stranger. I am the last and largest of Thorigest's Drenger. He who lies at the bottom of Loch.
this area is off limits.
running! Stretch your wings.
Marcus is Shida, not Messiah. More Halid and Mary, rebel can shin. I'll finish you! Flank the idiot! Press hard!
Tornado of Karikem after. Sail! Catch the wind! Strike of the June. Full share of tails. No! 
Here, moment. Yeah. 
Best not to draw attention here. A little help here. Some good takings here. Uh, yeah. Good horde. Let's get out of here. Lane. Rest well, stranger.
This place is heavily guarded.
Good day. Thanks to you, Ardmel joined our trade. Their sweet honey will lure our most demanding merchants. Is honey so valuable? It is liquid gold, but luscious and sticky. I always enjoy the dance of trade. Well, another time. Aver, I'm sorry, I did not notice you. Care to indulge in profitable commerce? We'll close the books on that. Farewell, Eivor. What is it I can do for you this fine day? May I see your stores?
done for now, is it? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Good day. Azar, is everything all right? Yes. No, it will be. Once that bastard is dead and hanging from my rafters as sausages. I believe I know who this is about. Constantinos has come to Ireland. Yesternight, his ship pulled into the bay. I will deliver you his head. Your offer is appreciated, Eivor, but not necessary. He threatens our trade, does he not? I protect my great interest and provide my partner a service. Very well. But do not deprive me of my revenge. Bring him back to me alive. New contracts, new riches. Perhaps that's enough. Always a pleasure. Constantinos' ship pulled into Dublin's Bay. I should look for him there.
I need your eyes, my friend. For now. Go, my eyes. White-haired one must be Constantinos. A czar awaits him. Come here? As good a spot as any. We won't be on this dog shit island long. Just until we collect Azar's head. The white-haired one must be Constantinos. A czar awaits him.
I can't walk. That's the idea. Your one-time partner is eager to see you. Uh -huh. That twice-cursed harpy should have been long dead. Save your insults for your reunion. I'd hope to finish you this time. You were always careless. At least I took your eye. And your brother, the sniveling sop. Along with your loud bitch of a screaming mother. Come on, have at it. Let's end this quickly. Quickly? Oh no, 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 my dear Constantinos. This will last a very long time indeed. Why else have I sharpened so many implements? I will unmake you tenfold for what you've done. You make a sorry Cyclops. Damn you to hell! Why hello, Eivor. Azar, what of Constantinos? Hogs feed on his bits. Are you at peace? At peace? No. But the world is a better place. Many kingdoms desire to trade for our goods. Enough for today. I look forward to your return.
Ya. Let's go hooded here. Eivor! We will march upon Armagh immediately! This place smells like a brewer's hut. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hands. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. Enough! If you charge into a man like a berserker, they will crucify you like the Christ. I'm sorry to tell you, my king. The siege weapons you requested are being held by Armagh. Hell have that abbot! Those weapons were to be a show of the strength of Dublin's new king. Forget about shows of strength. Cast your fortunes with Flan. High King will be a powerful ally if you back him now. Where are these weapons coming from? Who's supplying Amar? A shadowy web of pirates run by a druid cult. They roost along the northern coast, looting and trading in equal measure. These druids, do they call themselves the children of Danu? In fact, they do. Led by one they call the Seed. Now that you have their scent, I wish you a good hunt. If there is nothing more, my king, I will return to my shop. I will gather what forces I can wherever I can and join them to Flans. Together we will avenge my father. You have a strength that comes from him. When you find that, men will follow.
These would be the arms to your SSR spoke of. I must approach carefully.
Longer Children of Danu, born Druid and Bishop. What god will greet him at his death? Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amma, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened, and will soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Amma? We do. Thanks to Sigfrith. 
He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told them of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. And he would not have raised as many men. You cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes. Or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them I that... Might. I think in this case some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clother, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well, to send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Amar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There is something else. Abbot Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they were all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Siegfried and I will prepare our men. Join me when you're ready. Choose a good view, dear poet. It'll be a battle for the ages. Thank you for not seeing anything about my past. The past is past, not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. It's good to see you take command. It suits you. It feels heavy and stiff like this new armor. I envy you, Eivor. When battle is done, you can move on to what you like. I go where my destiny takes me, Siegfried. None of us are free from that. There are worse fates than being a king. Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Sigthrith, Lord. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. He's a good man, but he lacks his father's seasoning. Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord, in the court and on the field. Come. Let us flush out this false abbot without delay. Yes. Owen must answer for his actions. There are fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We move forward, but remain alert. God will guide the right. We have no other choice! Breach that gate! The bridge is down! My Norsemen are ready! And across. Smash! Leave the barbarians to me! What do you buy now? The Lord! Damn it! Cotton will give me strength! Scott! 
God's wrath on these sinners! These are soldiers, not farmers! Don't hold Put back! Arrow in the dark! One way! Through that gate! They fall back! Gather your breath, but remain at the ready! Too easy. Hey, wait! Die! Flank 
idiot! Press hard! House of God, Flanschina. Or be cursed with his wrath eternal. You desecrate this holy place with foul corruption. You are a sickness to be purged. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king, but let pagans and wolves do your dirty work. Do not preach about playing both sides. I know you lead the children of Danu. Do you? Then you should know you cannot win. My children are everywhere, even in your court. Who do you mean? Kira had the makings of a high priestess, but she was careless. Dabbled with forces she could not control. Don't listen, Flawn. He tries to cloud your judgment. Small wonder she charmed her way into your court. She's always been attracted to men of power. <laughs> you lie, devil. Huh. <laughs> Love conceals blemish and evil. It's easy to lose sight when you're following a woman's backside. <sighs> There's no shame in keeping your hands clean of this filth. Let me do your dirty work. It's God's work. Protect your abbot! Not sow your field with two kinds of seed. Do not quote scripture to me, devil. May your tongue burn for eternity while your throat is pierced with jagged glass. No. You would rather have a song from your pagan poetess. If she didn't tell you about the children of Daniel, what other secrets does she keep? <laughs> he tries to poison your mind with his dying words, Lord. Don't let them in. But could he speak truth? The best liars mix truth with lies. If she was part of that cult, she isn't anymore. You are right, of course. Ah, oh, this fetid air befouls my thoughts. Let us step out into God's cleansing light. It is a beautiful land. We are a blessed people. Word of our victory spreads like fire in a dry field. I couldn't stop all the looting, my king. But I made certain the people were spared. 
They will sing of the High King who cleansed the Church at Armagh, and the King of Dublin, who fought with honor at his side. And the hero who came from the land of heroes who helped them win the day. All will be remembered, the living and the dead. Tis done. Here are your blood-soaked bits of amber. Hmm. I felt them die. Each by each. Boil these shards. Make your potion. 
I shall, I shall. I've been preparing for this since we met. You spoke of great power. The spear. You'll have it in your hands soon enough. Once you defeat Balor. You said nothing of this? Surely you remember Balor. He is heat, drought, a scorching sun come to earth. I know of no such creature. Many heroes fell to him, but Woden would not. The lance called Gaybolug pierces his flesh. This is where he is weak. Are you ready to fight him? Let me drink. Drink deeply. You'll remember. Balar is ancient. He is chaos itself. Defeat him, and the spear is yours. <laughs> I have come for your power.
I must speak to Deirdre. I felt you would prevail. It was an unusual contest. The spear, Gay Bullug, is yours for crushing the children of Danu and defeating Balor. Kira will be pleased the Danu have been quenched. She fights hard for those she calls true druids. Keep the spear close, Eivor. I sense a great battle ahead. Goodbye, Deirdre. Slon, Eivor. Slon.
What do you see, Sunan?
Take care. This fog.
Yeah. <laughs>